What's up everyone, my name is Tom and welcome to TechStream. Now today, thanks to the guys at TLR Esports for taking something a little bit different, a backpack. So what we have here is the Targus Strike 17.3 inch gaming laptop bag. Um, I say gaming because we'll, well, we'll get into that a little bit later on. So this is a laptop bag suitable for a 17.3 inch laptop. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't actually put my laptop in there because I've got an 18 and a half inch MSI Titan. Um, it doesn't fit because the laptop's like physically just bigger than the bag, not gonna fit. Did try a couple of uh, other 17 inch laptops in it though, and they all fitted without a problem. But the backpack, so, well, first of all, it is a 17 and a half inch laptop bag. Comes in at 90 pound here in the UK, which when you look at other gaming laptop bags, they're around about that price. Um, there's not really many gaming laptop bags around. I know Razer do um, Steel Series do one that's actually made by Targus themselves. Um, there's not a massive amount. To be honest with you, bags bags. Um, I call, they call this a gaming bag, but really it's just a relatively standard Targus bag. Um, with some red bits on it. So the styling on it is still relatively business-like. Um, the only the only real addition to what I would say is probably a relatively standard Targus bag is uh, two red zips, a couple of little red loops, and a little red octagon sort of shape there. Um, not a massive amount of gamery, but it does have quite a few pockets, so we'll get into these. We'll start right off at, well, the very front, where you've got just a little very slim pocket at the front here it is actually padded um, probably suitable for something like a mobile phone maybe or well if we were 20 years ago I'd say CDs um, you're not really going to fit a lot in it it is quite thin um, it's very knickknack knickknacks small thin knickknacks business cards uh, stylus for a tablet something like that if we then take a look into the first of three compartments in the very front, we do actually have a relatively decent sized pocket. Again, quite thin, but this one is designed to actually hold uh, an external hard drive, a mouse. They do actually have little screen printed logos on them. And then there is a couple of little loops here for holding pens. Um, so you can stick your pens and styluses and things into there. And a little pocket there for USB cables. Quite small, won't be fitting many USB cables in there. And seeing as everything seems to use different things, you've got a lightning, a micro, a USB-C, mini USB, um, you'll probably be filling up one of these pockets with USB cables. There is also a rather nice padded velvet lined pocket here at the front, suitable for a pair of glasses. Um, now you say glasses, now one of the big things that does seem to be coming around at the moment is actually gaming glasses designed to reduce your strain the strain on your eyes so although probably not really actually what that was or what they really went oh gaming glasses it is glasses holder and actually coming to gaming yeah there is a, a use case for gaming glasses now we then take a look at the next section if we come in one where you are greeted with a padded pocket designed for a keyboard and a headphone loop um, Headphone loop is just a nice simple velcro attachment so you can stick your headphones in there keeps them safe the keyboard Sort of pocket though. I have found a little bit smaller. Just grab A keyboard now this is a relatively small ie it's not got a numpad. It's not a 404 key keyboard keyboard and well that pretty much fills it up. Now, um, a 104 key, like small 104 key keyboard will fit. Anything with any extra buttons and things like that, like I've got a, a Razer Chroma Black Widow um, with a single row of extra key keys, doesn't fit. Literally, you're looking at standard sized keyboards. I mean, ideally, something like that. Now, if you are traveling to lands and, or traveling in general, yeah, there probably is a relatively higher chance that you're probably traveling with a smaller than standard keyboard. Now, this is what I actually personally travel with. Uh, Cooler Master Storm Quickfire TK. Um, fits perfectly. Um, also, great keyboard. But you're not really going to be fitting like a, what is it, the 95 from Corsair with all the extra keys or the, the Razer Black, Black Widows. 
they just don't physically fit because it is quite a short bag. It's designed at the end of the day for a 17 and a half inch laptop, not for a 104 key keyboard. But it is nicely padded. There is a headphone loop there, but if you've got a big keyboard in, well, if you pop a keyboard in, realistically the keyboard's gonna have to sit towards the middle of the case, which as you can see, would then cover up your headphone loop. So you can have a keyboard or headphones and something smaller, i.e. a tablet would quite easily fit in that pocket. And maybe that is something that more people would have rather than a keyboard in their bag, would be a tablet and their laptop. I travel with my tablet and my laptop and my keyboard, but keyboard just goes into big luggage. So then we get onto the main part of the bag, and that is the bit where your laptop goes. Now it will take a good, thick, chunky laptop um, you'll quite easily fit a laptop that's a couple of inches thick, but you are limited to the 17.3. But there's a good amount of padding all the way around. It's got a nice soft topped handle, um, again, on the back so that there's plenty of protection against your back. We do have some breathable membrane um, fabric here, and again, all nicely padded. So your laptop will be secure. What there doesn't seem to be though is a strap to retain the laptop. It might seem daft, but I have seen people sort of like on the go open a bag, that happens, the laptop comes out. It would have been nice to have seen a strap to retain the laptop just to stop it from falling out. So what else do we have in the way of storage on this bag? On one side, you do have a little pocket here for your knickknacks. On this side, a mesh one, probably for a water bottle, something like that. And then we do also have two other things. In the small of your back, we've got a little pocket here. This is for, I would say, valuables. Um, I put my passport in there, something like that, somewhere because it's on me. Nobody can get into said pocket. And one of the things that brings me back to this being a uh, businessman laptop, you can fit your hand through here. That is so that this passes over the handle of your little pull-along luggage. We do then have at the bottom something for our cyclists. A rather high-vis waterproof cover. Big green thing, get caught in the rain, pull this over, make sure everything in the back stays dry. If you're on a bike, any time of day, night, stick that on it. Um, it does actually have targets written on it in uh, reflective printing so that will just keep your bag nice and dry and everything in there dry and keep you visible the good thing is it is attached so you're not going to go leave the house without it or get get caught short in some rain with wet stuff so when it comes to actually wearing this what i did i stuck a load of weight in it i know i've still got the tags on it but i was only wearing it around the house um i stuck a load of weight in it and took it for a little carry. And I must say, it is quite comfy. We've got a decent range of adjustment. So these do go in and out on both sides. And then you do have a sternum strap as well that just clips together. And that just stops these from coming apart and the bag falling off your shoulders. And if you've got that done up public, uh, it's gonna stop somebody from pinching the bag off your shoulders. Bit of extra security. So that's really it for this bag. Um, the only other thing there is on it, a couple of straps on the side. Um, not really sure what they're for. They're sort of to stop the bag from expanding too far, but they're located at the same height as the zips and the zips do the job. But overall, yeah, it is a nice laptop bag. Would I personally say this is a gaming bag? Personally, no, it, it's still styled a bit businessman fuddy duddly like now the steel series one made by targus that i think looks quite cool um this thing it looks like a business it it looks it reminds me of an ibm thinkpad with the red bits and i would probably expect to see an ibm thinkpad in it um not really what i would say is gaming laptop but it will do the job albeit at a premium of 90 quid of taking everything that you need to a LAN if you are a LAN goer with a key, with a laptop. As long as your laptop's not a MSI GT Titan because they don't fit in any bag. So there we go guys, that is pretty much it for the Targus 
Strike 17.3. It is a pretty decent laptop bag. Premium laptop bags do cost, and in line with its competition, it is at the same sort of price. And would I buy one? If I was actually in the market and the other options weren't suitable or were maybe a bit too in your face, um, the Steel Series one does stand out a little bit. Uh, the Razer one was very similarly styled, actually. Um, this one will blend in. You could travel on the underground in London or out in public and pretty much get away with not shouting, I've got a three grand gaming laptop in my bag. Um, some of the other ones, like I have a Razer written all across it, shout something in here of value. This is just a Targus laptop bag with some features in it that are relatively usable. I must admit at 90 quid, it would have been nice to see some smart features though. It would have been nice to have seen a power bank built in. At the end of the day, it's gamers. Gamers have gadgets. Gadgets need charging. It would have been nice to have seen a USB power bank thrown into that, built into it, because I have seen bags with it. It just meant that you could plug your phone in at a LAN. That would have been a great little addition, actually. Um, but overall, it's a good, solid quality product. It's well built, relatively well designed. Just could have done with a standout feature. So there we go, guys. That is pretty much it for today. Um, thank you very much for watching. If you've liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Not a problem. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them down below. I'll try and take the time to answer them all. And if you want to see more of me, click that little subscribe button. Thank you very much, and bye for now.